Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to finish up our hit reactions by adding knockbacks today, but I wanted to make you aware of the announcements page for ODBS2. ODBS has been given an Epic Mega Grant, thanks Epic, and I've been working to get ODBS2 ready for open source development. This page will be updated as more information becomes available and ODBS2 is ready to launch. Okay. As always, we need to download the project here or continue from our previous one. And we have 43.4, hit reactions part four. I actually had this already back in August 1st and been trying to find time to record this video since then. So you're gonna download that one or start with your previous one and I'm loading it up here. Okay, so uh, to review what we've got, we'll just start it up here real quick. Run over here and get hit. <clears throat> so from the previous videos, we got our hit reactions. So yeah, it's annoying. We got our hit reactions working. And it works no matter which direction we're hit. So we're good on that. Um, but we really want to add knockbacks. So what we're going to use is we're going to use root motion tasks. And luckily, these are working again. There was three or four versions of UE4 there where they were broken, uh, but they're back to working and they're super powerful. So we're gonna open up, we're gonna go here to uh, ability system, abilities, hit reactions, and we're gonna open up our GA underscore knockback. Okay, we're gonna disconnect this here. And we're gonna do more than one today, but let's start out with the small one. So we're going to move this over here, get ourselves some room, and we're going to do apply root motion jump force. Okay. And since we're going to add two of them, I'm going to kind of pull it up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the asynchronous one here. And after we play this animation, we want to actually move our character. We'll just call this motion. We're going to need a rotation. So let's come back to our OWS character and we'll do get actor rotation. Drag this over here. Okay. And to start out, we're going to just do a, a kind of a tiny little knockback, you know, kind of like you got hit and you're sliding backwards. So we're going to do a distance of 300, remember that's 3 meters, and we're just going to barely get off the ground. The main purpose here is breaking the, the um, friction on the ground so it gets us up into the air. And we're going to do it over 8 tenths of a second, and the rest of these for now are going to stay the way they are. You'll, we'll, we're going to take a look later at this time mapping curve because you're quickly going to see that visually there's something not great. Sometimes this root motion jump force actually gets stuck um, and and then the ability never ends. It never calls on finish or on landed. So we need a safety here. We're going to do a wait delay and we're going to set it to the exact same amount of time as the duration. This basically just says, hey, if for some reason this thing gets stuck and never finishes, we've got another way to finish this and get out of it. And so what we will do is we'll actually take this and call the end task on it. And then of course we're going to end ability. But we're also going to the end ability if it finishes or lands before that amount of time. Let's just make sure that it finishes. Okay, so we've got the basic, we've got the basic structure here. We're basically saying, hey, take the 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 rotation of what's hitting us, right? So remember, this is the instigator of who hit us. So we're basically going to go the same direction as whatever's hitting us, which to us should be backwards. So for this for this example, that's that should be a good enough direction. So let's give it a try. I'm 
I'm going to zoom back just so we can see it better. See that? So we got our knockback. Now, do you notice how it looks really bad? You see that? Okay, so here's the reason it looks bad. It's linear, right? Meaning that it's moving us at the same speed the whole way through. But, but we, we know from physics that while it's hitting us at the start, we should be moving at the fastest acceleration and then slowing down after that, right? And so it looks really bad. But there's actually a really easy way for us to fix that because if we open this back up, there is a time mapping curve. Now, there's not a lot of documentation on this, um, so I had to go looking through the source code. But basically what this does is it says, give me a curve from 0 to 1. So no matter what length this thing is, to go from 0 to 1, um, over whatever time period it is, it could be 0.2, it could be 5 seconds, but give me a curve from 0 to 1, and then tell me, how you want it to progress in time relative to what the original time would be. So we're going to create one of these curves. Okay, and so we're going to go to, I think it's miscellaneous. It is curve. And we're going to choose a float curve. Call it CV underscore knock back time map. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out, uh, let's see, zero, zero. I'm going to add a key at zero, zero. And then I'm going to add another key at one dot one. and we'll put it at 1.1, okay? So what's happening here is that this is what it's currently doing, okay? What it's currently doing is moving you at the same velocity with a flat acceleration over the time period, which in our case is 0 0.8 seconds, 8 tenths of a second, but, but it's doing, it's, it's automatically going to take this one you know, one by one thing and map it to that, no matter what time it is. And so what's going to happen here is that if I were to make our curve go like this, okay, on this side of it, that would mean that you start slower and end up faster, okay? That's if I make a curve like this. Um, but in reality, we want it to start faster and slow down. That's going to look more realistic because of how physics work and what our eye is used to seeing. So what we want to do is we want to switch here to user. And we're going to adjust these. Let's see, let's try. Let's try auto. It's not really the shape I was looking for. Uh, but it might it might be good. Let's give it a try. So so now that it's not a straight line, right, it's actually going to start out faster and then slow down. And so we should be able to see that when we play. We gotta go back to our knockback. And we have to pick our time mapping curve, CV knockback time. So let's give it a try. I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. See that? You see the difference? 
See, we started faster and then slowed down. And it's a whole lot more visually appealing than when it moved at the same, the same velocity. So you can play around with your curves there to be able to control how it moves. So useful ability there to be able to change it with curves. Okay, let's go and try a bigger knockback because that's going to be fun looking. So this guy, this guy's big. He's a big rock monster, right? He hits you. You're not just going to be like, ooh, I'm just going to slide back a little bit. No, 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 no. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this. And we'll make an extra copy down here. <clears throat> okay, we're going to connect our rotation. And we're going to change a few values here. So let's go and let's knock back further distance. Let's do 600. And they're going to go off the ground now, right? He actually hits us hard. We're going to go flying up in the air. Okay. And we'll try keeping that same mapping curve. We might have to adjust it if it doesn't look right. We changed this to 1.2 seconds. So, so that it doesn't end early, we've got to change this to 1.2 seconds. And everything else should be the same. Let's give it a try. And since he's going to throw us pretty far, I'm going to zoom out a little bit further. See what this looks like. <laughs> See? Oh, you know, okay. With that time mapping curve... I actually don't like it because as it slows down, it makes us kind of float in the air. You see that? That's kind of fun. When I did a test on this to begin with, I actually left that blank, but I was interested to see what it would look like. So I'm going to actually go to no curve on that and see what it looks like with linear. Because that actually did look kind of funny the way it was floating in the air. It was noticeable that it didn't feel like normal gravity. Anyway, you can play around with those curves uh, to get the right look for whatever. Whatever kind of root motion task movement, I think those curves are on all the root motion tasks. So there, it makes it feel like we hang a little bit more in the air like normal. You know, and we could adjust the speeds if we felt like that was, you know, not the right, uh, not the right feel to it. I wonder what would happen if we go really big. over two seconds it'd be like 500 in the air I have no idea I haven't tried these let's see what it looks like Time we got to come back and work on our AI. <laughs> no, no, you didn't have to keep running into me. You could have just hit me. <laughs> maybe, maybe too slow. But still kind of fun. You guys can add some fun mechanics. One of the things I want to work on um, is I want to work on adding maybe over in that cave over there that we built before. I want to work on adding a, a boss, right? Because I want to show you guys how you can build boss-type mechanics uh, into the AI. I'm not sure yet when we'll do this, but I want, I want to build some kind of some kind of little mini-boss fight uh, because I think it'll be, we'll be able to learn some fun things about AI, about timing things. We'll be able to play with you know ability lockout times and cooldowns and stuff and, um, and be thinking about how to create... I wasn't sure if I was going to collide with that tree... Uh, figuring out how to create uh, gameplay that makes sense, right? Um, a lot of boss-type mechanics are very well designed uh, to be able to make sure that there's not just some way to, to beat it easily, right? You have, to, you have to design the mechanics in a way that certain mechanics cover uh, for other things. So I think that'd be fun. Okay, I think we've got our knockbacks working pretty good here. Uh, so I I'm not sure what we're going to move on to next. I'm actually headed out of town for a little while. Um, but when I come back, 
I will be, uh, I got a list of some ideas of some stuff I want to look into, and if you guys have any other things you think would be good for us to add at this point, uh, you can leave those in the comments below. Till next time, see ya.